Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those ads, don't skip those ads, don't bump those ads. I said I wasn't gonna cook, but I got hungry because you know everybody's away for the weekend. So basically, I'm just gonna get in here and cook a pot of spaghetti. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I wanted y'all to see the stove covers that I bought from the Dollar Tree, yo. You get two in a pack for $1.25. I just want to show y'all life is a beautiful ride. Like these stove covers are very pretty. Ain't nothing but a dollar though. So I have out the hamburger meat, the spaghetti noodles, and the spaghetti sauce. I use the Pringle sauce and the ground beef. I got two packs out because I like a lot of meat in my spaghetti. So I was just showing y'all what I use. And I got a clean pot. I'm about to fill up with water and go ahead and start boiling my water. Because you know you got to have the water to ball and scald my pot out before I cook in it. So I'm getting ready to fill this pot up with water. And then I'm going to set this pot on the stove and let that baby ball for about a good 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe not too long. But I want to make sure my pot is full up at least half the way. So once I fill it up, I head over to the eye. I set it on the eye. Once I move the stove cover, of course, set it on the eye, turn the eye on high. Let y'all see, I turn the eye on high. And I'm about to get ready to let this water ball. But I forgot, I got to put some salt in it and some butter. Because that's the only way the noodles is not going to stick to the pot. If you add some salt, plain salt, not too much because you don't want your noodles too salty. And then, of course, I'm going to add that blue ribbon butter to it. And to, I'm trying to cut up the butter while holding the phone at the same time. So I'm going to have to put the phone down and adjust my hand so I can cut the butter. So I finally cut it. Once I cut it, I'm getting ready to drop it into this pot. But I like my pot to be a little bit hot. So I'm about to drop it in there before it gets steaming hot. So I drop the butter in the pot and let that baby boil for the good 20 minutes. Oh yeah, I forgot the cheese. So I just added the cheese to the pack, okay? So it's the Pringle sauce, the hamburger meat, the spaghetti sauce, and the cheese. And of course, I scald out my pots before I use them. So I scald out my frying pan, and then I proceed to put the frying pan back on the stove, open up the ground beef, and then start to put the ground beef into my frying pan. It takes a while to open it when I'm trying to record with my hands on the camera and trying to get the meat at the same time. Um, so I put it in the pot. My hand is blue because I was at Bingo tonight. I did wash my hand. The ink has not come off yet, but it's not gonna, nothing isn't gonna happen to the meat because my hands are blue. You know how picky y'all are. But anyways, I put the hamburger meat into the pan and add some more to the pan. So as I give Naya the phone, I'm in here putting the ground beef into the pan and getting ready to let this baby fry for a good 15 to 20 minutes. And once I let it fry, then it'll be good to go. But I'm, let, I'm making sure I get all that meat out the pack because meat is too hard to let it go to waste. So I'm squeezing all that meat out the pack while Naya records me. So here I am just getting all the meat out, making sure I got all that meat. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to waste no food. You know how we are. And once I get all the meat out, then I'm going to start letting this meat fry, which you can see the steam coming off of it now is already frying because the eye is already on. So I zoom it in a little bit so y'all can see the meat is raw. Cut it down a little bit. Let that baby fry. So now it's frying. You can tell it's getting brown. So you know when it's frying, when it's getting brown. So I like to stir my meat up. I don't know what it is about me cooking in my kitchen. I like to keep my meat simple. I like to keep it, keep it going, like stirring it up multiple times. But it's cooking, guys. Don't judge me. I don't have a strainer to drain my meat. So I basically use the spoon with the holes in it to drain all the meat. I mean, all the grease out of it. I apologize for that. Excuse me. Anyways, I drain it out with my spoon. And you can see where I'm just letting the um, grease drain out through the spoon. And I'm putting it in another pot. So that's what I'm doing right now. Draining all the grease off of the meat and putting it into another pot so I can wash out my frying pan so I can use it for my sauce. Um... I'm very picky about my spaghetti. I don't put all that peppers and onions and all that stuff people put in there. It's like, people are like, Nika, you don't even eat right. I eat what I want to eat. I don't eat all that onions and peppers and stuff in my food. Not in that Pringle sauce, it probably got in there, but I just drain out all the grease out the meat. And once I drain all the grease out the meat, then I go ahead and mix my sauce into it. But I'm about to get ready to throw some seasoning in. Once this water ball, then I'll be able to um, go ahead and start doing my noodles but right now i'm just doing my hamburger meat and draining all that excess grease off that meat so i won't have no heartburn tonight because i tell you if i leave that grease on that meat i'm gonna have heartburn so here's my water it's boiling but it's not hot yet for me to drop that noodles in there so i'm just gonna wait on it wait on it and wait on it until it gets real real hot once it get real, real hot then i'll drop them noodles in there till then my meat is ready to go and my water is still boiling so i'm still waiting on it i like the steam bubbling in my water so once the steam start bubbling in that water then i will drop them noodles in there so let's see if this water is hot or not so we're gonna go ahead and try to figure this out so let's get into it see how it's bubbling it's bubbling 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 so we're about to see y'all if it's ready let's see yeah baby that water is ready to go y'all y'all see that thing bubbling and steaming so i'll use the pot size spaghetti noodles because i used to buy the regular box but since i see wally's world selling these pot size 
spaghetti noodles, I'm going to go ahead and start getting these because it's more easy to deal with setting buying the big ones that come in the box and have to break them in half. All you do is open the box up and pour it in the pot. So I just use a little bit because nobody's really home um, with me. So I just put two handfuls, make sure it be enough for tonight and tomorrow. And the excess ones that I have left, I put it into the fridge. But I want y'all to see that it's boiling. But I like my noodles halfway raw halfway cooked what i mean is i like my noodles a little bit thick so i'll let it boil for a good 20 25 minutes and then i i'll check the um the texture of it and then if it's good then i'll take it out i don't mix my spaghetti together i keep my spaghetti separated so i'll watch my noodles boil for a good 20 25 minutes and once it boils then i drain the water off of it and then i mix up my sauce all right so i'm getting ready to empty my meat in one pot to get my sauce together by the time my noodles done cooking I can go ahead and start my sauce that way we can go ahead and, and eat so i'm getting ready to season my meat i use some meat tenderizer that's that great value stuff but that great value stuff is good just like the regular come on now y'all y'all know it's good so i put some of that seasoning in there garlic powder i love the garlic powder in my spaghetti it tastes so good and yummy yummy for my tummy tummy <laughs> anyways welcome to nika kitchen yummy food and fun y'all so i'm in here just basically season up my meat put a little bit of garlic powder onto a spoon which is a lot because i like a lot of garlic so i add a little bit more to it and after I put that garlic powder in there, you know what I'm saying? I let it sit. Then I'm going to go ahead and start shaking, baking this um, Pringle sauce. So I got to tap that thing, you know what I'm saying? I tap, 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 tap. Pop that top, you know what I'm saying? And pull that baby on in there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see all that sauce, son? So I drop all that sauce in there, baby. Go in there, add some water in that jug, you know what I'm saying? In that jar, because it's not a jug. You know how picky y'all is. So I put the water in there, and I shake it up. And then I pour it into my spaghetti which you can see is more water so now it's time to take the top and put back on top of that pringle sauce and then shake it up so i can get all the sauce instead of putting all that water in there so once i shake it up now it's back thick see all that extra sauce that i left in there now it's good so once i do all that i'm gonna let this symbol while my noodles cook and then we're gonna get back to this meat you know what i'm saying why it's symbol so i put some butter into my noodles because my noodles was not really cooking it was like sticking to the pan even though i put salt in it i dropped like two pieces of butter in it, and then i'm watching it boil then i'm gonna stir it up to make sure it's not sticking anymore and i'm gonna keep going around and around in a circle until i get it down from sticking from the bottom and once i do that then i'm gonna leave that baby alone and let that baby simmer check it back on my noodles and they're cooking perfectly fine now they're not sticking to the pot look how fine them noodles look they look real good they're gonna be yummy so I tried one more time to stir them babies up and them things looking good. Let them cook for 20 more minutes, y'all. And then it'd be up and ready to pop and to be popping up in my stomach tonight. Yummy. So I'm getting ready to drain these noodles. Like I said, I don't have a strainer. I just do it this way to get all that water out of it because I don't like my um, spaghetti tasting watery. So I'm getting ready to drain all the water off the noodles this way. This is the way I do it anyways. Once I drain all the water off, then the excess water, I throw it away. I don't use it so the noodles came out perfectly fine it came out real good see I drained out all that water and as you can see the noodles are perfectly fine came out real good and the texture is real good this is how the way I like my noodles so now the noodles is done I'm getting ready to go in here and prepare my sauce so I can get in here and eat so I'm about to cover these noodles up and add some more butter to it and here I am about to begin my sauce so I clean up my pot and then I'm going to pour in my sauce that I let it sit for a little bit with all that seasoning and garlic sauce and everything. And once I do that, I let it sit until it gets to a ball. And once it gets to a ball, I'll stir that baby up real good, y'all. And then I'll check back on it and that thing looking good. It still got to ball some more. So that's what I'm doing, waiting on it to ball. Once it come down to a full ball, then we be ready to eat our dinner. So here we are. Spaghetti tonight. I usually put sausage in it, but they don't want sausages. Now this baby done came to a ball. I've just been stirring up, making sure it's fully cooked and make sure it came to a ball. I'm getting to in here and fix these plates and let y'all see the ending results. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those ads, and skip those ads, and bump those ads. I'm going to see you guys later. Welcome to Nika's Kitchen. Yummy food and fun. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the spaghetti. Like I said, don't forget to comment down below. See you guys later. So I'm getting ready to go in here and fix food or whatever. Um, so I'm letting y'all see how I prepare mine. I don't never mix it together until the end part and let that um, symbol for tomorrow for dinner. So I basically just do mine this way. I don't mix it all together when I first do mine. 
So that's what y'all looking at in this video. I had just fixed food and I'm doing each bowl by itself. I don't just do everybody's food the same because everybody don't eat that much. It's not really nobody here because everybody left for the weekend. There's only one little person sitting up in here right now looking at me eating spaghetti. And this is his favorite thing to eat anyway. So he loves spaghetti. So I'm in here fixing bowls not plates because it's too hot for a plate and this thing look busting baby i'm telling you i'm about to tear this thing off the meat market don't forget too. you too don't yeah, forget I'm to tell it up too i <laughs> know oh, that's right <laughs> but anyways i've been here fixing food of course i think i hear him in the background saying he about to tell it too this is his favorite he loves spaghetti and he loves hamburger helper and he's a mama's boy of course he stayed home with me he didn't want to go anywhere this weekend so that's what we're doing. We ain't eating spaghetti, so I mix up all the spaghetti together so we can have some for tomorrow. So I don't have to worry about cooking. I know it probably looked like more noodles than meat, but I have more meat out, and all I gotta do is just fry some more meat and mix up some more sauce and be good to go. I hope y'all guys continue to have a blessed night. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those asses, those ass, and bump those ass. And don't forget to comment down below. And let me know how the spaghetti looks looking. Yeah, baby. Good night.